Good morning everybody and welcome to New Frontiers Church Daily Devotional. Recently I was chatting to a friend and he was telling me how God had spoken to him while he was reading a children's book. Well that really resonated with me and funnily enough that same book had spoken to me many years ago when I was reading it to my own children. The book is called We're Going on a Bear Hunt and it goes like this. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a Big one. What a beautiful day, but we're not scared. Uh Uh-oh, grass. Long, wavy grass. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no, we have to go through it. Swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. Through the grass. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh Uh-oh, a river. A deep, dark river. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh, no. We have to go through it. Splash, splosh, splash, splosh. And so it goes on. Uh Uh-oh, mud. Squelch, 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 squelch. A dark forest. Stumble, trip, stumble, trip, stumble, trip. A hurling, whirling snowstorm. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no, we have to go through it. And you know, that's how I felt about 2020. It's like, uh uh-oh, global pandemic. Uh Uh-oh, then this happened. Uh Uh-oh, then this happened. You know, usually I love September. It's like that back to school feeling. But this September, I hope that the season will be changing, that the season that we had been in would be over by now. But those things are still going on. You know, for myself, I was hoping that my ankle would be well by now, but no, it's still painful. I'm still going through it. Well, that reminded me of a story in the Bible where some people were really going through it. You'll find the story in Daniel chapter 3. And it's about three youths who'd been carried off from Israel to Babylon by King Nebuchadnezzar to serve him. Now, there was a time when King Nebuchadnezzar set up an image of gold. It was 90 feet high. And he declared that everybody was going to bow down to this image of gold at the dedication whenever they heard the music. And if they didn't, they would be thrown into the fiery furnace. So at the dedication... All the important officials were there, the music played, and everybody bowed down to the image. Well, not quite everybody. Some astrologers came forward and they denounced the Jews, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They said, O king, live forever. You have said that anybody who does not bow down will be thrown into the fiery furnace. Well, there are some Jews who you have set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, they pay no attention to you, O king. They neither serve your gods nor worship the image of gold that you have set up. Well, Nebuchadnezzar was furious and he said to them, you need to bow down and worship this image of gold. They said, king, you may do what you want to us, but we will not serve your gods nor will we give up on our god. He was so furious, he had the furnace heated seven times hotter. And he had them bound by strong people in his army, and they were taken to the furnace. It was so hot that the people throwing them into the furnace were burned and killed. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, in their turbans, their robes, and their trousers, well, let's see what happened. The king said, Wait! Wait! Weren't there three men that we tied up and threw into the fire? They replied, certainly, O king. He said, but look, I see four men walking around in the fire, unbound and unharmed. And the fourth looks like a son of the gods. Nebuchadnezzar then approached the opening of the blazing furnace and shouted, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, servants of the Most High God, come out, come out here. So they came out, and all those important people gathered around them. They saw 
that the fire had not burned their bodies, nor was a hair on their head singed, and their robes were not scorched, and there was no smell of fire on them. Then Nebuchadnezzar said, Praise be to the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel and rescued his servants. What an amazing story. You know, I am sure that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego would have loved to have been delivered from that fire, not to have had to go in it at all. I mean, can you imagine the thought of that? But they did, they had to go through it. But what an amazing thing happened when they were in there. A fourth person, like this, a son of the gods, and later on Nebuchadnezzar says, it was an angel. Well, people have debated this for many years. Was this a pre-incarnate version of Jesus? Was it an angel? We'll never know. What we do know is that God rescued them through the fire. They were not harmed. And it reminded me of a scripture in Isaiah, Isaiah 43, which says this. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Saviour. Just as God was with Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego in the fire, he will be with us in our fiery trials. He has redeemed us. He has called us by name. He is our saviour. And you know, while I wouldn't choose to go through any of these trials that we have undergone this year, I have to say that the closeness of Jesus and the comfort of the Holy Spirit have been so very real. I wouldn't choose to go through them again. But actually, the closeness of God, I wouldn't trade that either, if that makes any sense. And it reminded me of something that we covered in our last sermon series in the book of 1 Peter, in chapter 1. Let's take a look at it and I'll finish up with this. He's talking about our inheritance that can never perish, spoil or fade. And he says, in this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while, you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. These have come so that your faith, of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, that your faith may be proved genuine and may result in praise, glory and honour when Jesus Christ is revealed. You are receiving the goal of your faith, the salvation of your soul. Somehow, in times of suffering, our faith is refined. And as we have gone through this year, and as we enter into this new season, I am so grateful that God is with us. He has called us by name, and he will not abandon us in the fiery trial. I do pray that God be with you in all that you are going through this week, this day. God bless you. May his grace shine upon you. Amen.